yes, we need to stay abreast of the modern research and uh, incorporate that into our, the work that Reclamation is doing. I'm looking at the variability of hydroclimate extremes, which are both stream flow and precipitation in the western U.S., so Reclamation's region of interest, and looking at how the extreme events vary spatially and temporally. We're looking at patterns of behaviors over multiple seasons or within one season or multiple years, and we're looking at how those things change from year to year and hopefully how they change into the future. It might take the form of like, all right, we think over the next 10 years, the, uh, the highest extreme event you're gonna see is gonna increase by 20%. Like, you know, that might be the type of information that they're getting, but still, that's incredibly useful to know if that's gonna be increasing, staying the same, decreasing. The goal is eventually to uh, look at impacts for infrastructure planning into the future. So if, if extreme flooding events are going to get larger in the future, we want to know that. That affects how we manage our reservoirs. If they're going to get lower, we also want to know that. That affects how we manage our reservoirs. Um, yeah, one of our tasks that down the line is to develop some sort of tool for water managers the ultimate goal is to provide sort of a um, map that you can look at for any place in the western U.S. and say, okay, this is how hydroclimate extremes are going to change here versus here versus here. Like this, the precip generates the stream flow and you can't look at these things separately. You have to look at them together to get a complete picture. Reclamation funds all this research, including mine. Uh, that is all based around how is this going to be used to be helpful for humans. And here at Reclamation, you know, we're, we're like, you know, it sounds cheesy, but we're doing, you know, I feel like I'm doing the right thing. You know, I'm working for the good guy. <laughs>